So it sounds like we have a lot of great summer activities to look forward to, but Robert, you say we may need to hold off for a little bit, especially with all the rain coming our way. Yeah, unfortunately, but real quick about graduation. What was, what did you enjoy less, high school or college? What was harder? Are you talking about in general or the graduation? In general. Oh, I'm going to say high school was harder for yeah, than college. Yeah, I think I agree with that too. Yeah. yeah, high school is harder. <laughs> Interesting. Well, if you have graduation plans tomorrow, you might be dodging some raindrops. And for the foreseeable future, you can see there, we've got daily rain chances through next weekend. That is not a typo. Heavy rain, severe weather is possible certain days, although I don't think any one day is going to be a total washout. But we could see several inches of rain likely by the time we get to next weekend, which I'll show you here in just a second. In terms of rainfall right now, this morning's rain is pressed off to the east, well east of the area. Some renegade sprinkles drizzle around. There is the potential for a couple more showers to develop across eastern Oklahoma and move into our area, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. Arkansas River and Fort Smith, it's nice and calm down there today. They were actually rain free. It was just northwest Arkansas which saw the rain, which allowed their temperatures in the River Valley to warm up into the 80s. Traffic on I-49 and Rogers moving nice and smoothly this evening where you're only at 66, so a nearly 15 degree difference where you saw the rain versus where you didn't. Really a big impact on your temperatures and you can see that here. Just 60 in Eureka Springs, but 80 Van Buren, Fort Smith, Greenwood, Boonville. So where they saw less cloud cover because of that rain really allowed things to warm up and the humidity is coming up. You can see here a uh, few locations into the lower to mid 60s for dew points. You can really feel the moisture in the air and that's the way it's going to be basically for the next week as we take you hour by hour. Tonight we'll get a break in the activity, maybe some clearing, especially across the River Valley. But by the time we get through the day tomorrow, I think most of tomorrow is dry. But by tomorrow afternoon, you can see rain right on our doorstep and then the potential for more showers and embedded thunderstorms across our area to tomorrow night and into early Monday. And then as we go through the rest of the week, there's more chances for rain. This is Tuesday morning. Then we'll advance this into Tuesday night. More showers and potential thunderstorms. Wednesday morning, there's rain as well as Thursday evening. The rain, it's just a continual. There's a series of weak short waves that's moving through that's going to give us almost daily shower and thunderstorm chances. And by the time we get to next weekend, you can see several inches, three to five inches of rain, certainly possible. I think some of these numbers are conservative. We could see flash flooding and river flooding as well. Severe weather really not expected tomorrow, just general thunderstorms. But as we get into Monday, northwest Arkansas, the chance for some scattered or isolated, excuse me, severe storms. Tonight, lows will be stuck in the 60s, so kind of a muggy night out there, maybe a little bit of patchy fog. We'll see if that develops or not. And then tomorrow, just highs stuck in the mid to upper 70s. Now, the extended forecast, you'll notice a theme here. <laughs> Plenty of rain chances over the next couple of days. Back to back to back to back impact days. Basically, uh, half of the seven day there are impact days with shower and storm chances, as I said, basically every day. That is a potentially wet, wet forecast, but again, they're kind of on and off showers for Northwest Arkansas as well as the River Valley. You'll see some rain, then it'll stop, then more will develop. Some of it could just be overnight. Some could just be in the morning. It's a very changing forecast that we're keeping our eye on. Jordan Black is keeping her eye on sports and she's got the latest after the break.